Carpetbagger here coming to you live from beautiful Orlando, Florida. And it is that time again. We are here at the Orange County Convention Center because it is time for IAPA, the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. Uh, every year I try to come make, it, make my way out here. They do a, a trade show here for amusement parks, attractions. You know, over the course of the year, I travel to quite a few amusement parks. I travel to quite a few attractions. And this is where the innovation begins. This is where new stuff is announced. Where different companies that work in the industry show off their wares by new animatronics. They announce new roller coasters, new rides here. So always excited to, to show up at IAPA, see what's coming up, and then being able to go out into the wild and experience that myself. A lot of stuff that I visited this year actually first saw here at IAPA last year. So very excited for what the future holds. So please, follow me. All right, we get ready to head down to the show floor. We can see this entrance here is sponsored by Angry Birds. I used to be incredibly addicted to the Angry Birds games. I used to spend roughly half my time playing Angry Birds. But uh, yeah, let's head down here. You can see the Angry Birds bursting forth there. Of course, they're always fighting those poor little green piggies. See along the roller coaster track here. We have a little piggy there driving a roller coaster car. Then we enter here through Red's Mouth. Oh yeah, so much to take in here. I'm getting massively overstimulated. <laughs> so usually what I do is just uh, go to one side, just go up and down the aisles and see what uh, see what's happening. I right, came to the far end of the, of the uh, floor here. It's kind of where they have a lot of the new uh, pinball machines, video games, and other arcade items. Retro Arcade LLC. These ice cold beer games. These are kind of like yeah, old old school type arcade games. You got the little little ball there. It's the lever to to make it go up. You got oh, it's kind of like a puzzle. You gotta raise the different sides. I guess try not to get it in those holes. Oh oh yeah, I'm not good at this so far. Pixel Swarm drones. I guess these are drones that are designed for light shows. See the illuminated drone there. They actually make the different patterns up in the sky, spell out words. It's all really, really cool. Now this is interesting here, the prize popper. You see you shoot these targets here. But look at this, you actually shoot, shoot actual pieces of cork. I guess you put the money in here to get your corks. And then uh, you have this, this uh, right here where, let me see, how do you put the, I don't know how you put the corks in. All right, got it all loaded up with the corks. You actually take the cork, you put your arm up through here and load the uh, load the barrel there. That's all, we got it loaded and uh, you gotta, once you shoot out all the all the bars there, you can get the prize. So we'll just take a shot or two here. Let's look at that uh, that Donald Duck uh, fanny pack. Hold up. Oh yeah, that's hard. You gotta hit like the little white spot. But yeah, this I like this. I like the combination of actually having something physical here that you can shoot at the uh, at the targets. Now this is interesting. We always have like new pinball machines here. We have a Pulp Fiction pinball machine here. Let's see, we got the oh yeah, the uh, the big Kahuna burger there. Interesting. Check out some of the new claw machines here. Let's uh, let's see if we can pick up a Barbie. All right, we go for Ken there in the back or I don't know let's see all right there we go oh look at that got a 
Barbie makeup kit. Of course, you don't actually win the stuff here because, you know, it's it's not free. They just want you to be able to test it out. All right, this is interesting here called Jump in Space. We have a trampoline down here. All right, so you start the game. Here, we're going to jump in space. Wait, start button. Okay, okay. You gotta, my jumping, my jumping makes, okay. The more you jump, the more balls fall down. Okay, there you go. This is fun. All right, you get exercise and you get to play. <laughs> play arcade games at the same time. Oh, don't jump too high though. Hey, you your head on the roof. There's a cool little shooting gallery here. Pirate captain. I think a few shots there, okay. You gotta shoot the targets there. Oh, gotta shoot that wheel there. There we go. There's a super spooky skeleton coming out of that barrel. Got him. I must say, I think this is my favorite claw machine plushie of all time. I wanna win one of these somewhere, these Mr. Claw plushies, or it's actually a plushy version of the claw. Wow, that looks fun. A strength testing machine. Looks like it's uh, some sort of some sort of hockey player there. But uh, I guess we take our hammer. Well, that is a hefty hammer there. Let's, uh, let's test our strength. All right, got a 30, 43, is that 44, is that good? Here we have toilet bowl toss. We have a giant toilet here. I guess we have to throw uh, these balls into uh, said toilet, these little brown, little brown balls. Okay, the lid, at least the lid went up. Got to throw the little turd balls here into the toilet. Oh no, put the seat down. It's gonna make it a little harder to get the uh, get the turd balls in there. Oh, there we go. Oh no, oh no, now there's just like a little hole in the seat, in the top of the seat. Oh, time's up. A SpongeBob boat driving simulator. All right, we have JJ Bot, the avatar. Now this is an interesting twist on the claw machine. Looks like he, oh look at that. The happy robot goes around in a circle to pick up the stuffed animals. Let's, uh, let's see here. All right, all right. Are we in control? All right, so you move him. Moving right. All right, so you move him in and out. Let's see, you gotta hit the catch button to get him to grab something. Let's go for it. Let's see if he can, is he getting anything? Oh, they might grab that dog by the leg. Oh no. Still no luck with the claw machines. I lost. Guinness World Records foods here. Look at that, we got the shoe of the uh, world's tallest man, Sultan Kosa, who was actually here last year. I uh, met him. Says, uh, the most frying pans rolled in a minute. Is uh, the most prime minister admit it is seven by Kathleen Krauss of Germany. That's pretty impressive. I don't think I could roll a single frying pan. Rover mascots here, these inflatable mascot suits. You got the astronaut, the dapper teddy bear, and a bowling pin there. Yeah, so this like inflates around your body and I guess keeps you cool through the air blowing. You got down there a deflated Dracula and Santa Claus. Radiant manufacturing here. And this cool backdrop kind of got like a shimmering to it, all these little moving squares. At Kern Studios. So you see that Mardi Gras World is actually an attraction. They make Mardi Gras floats for, uh, for Mardi Gras, but uh, they also do other uh, pretty amazing 
fiberglass works. You can see from this giant towering mermaid here. Wow, look at this amazing octopus float there. You can actually see the, the suckers actually light up and change colors. We have the king of the sea up here in front. So ugly Christmas sweater. Dot com and look at this with their mascot a polar bear wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. Oh careful there polar bear Oh look at his little polar bear dance Hey there, we get to do, do a fist bump There we go nice and The branded uh, ugly sweaters here the GM sweater and I really like this uh, red lobster themed ugly sweater here Catalyst engineering and look at this caterpillar up front here and as cool as that caterpillar is, look at this. It's animatronic night here. Oh yeah, very realistic movements there. <laughs> oh, it's coffee. They look cute. As soon as you get close, oh wow. come the flames. This giant can of hay, artistic contractors. That alien up there, some pretty cool figures. I do like uh, this guy here, looking very carefully at that jewel. I'm gonna take a peek here inside Thrill Builders Haunted Mine. So, the theme for this particular escape room is an abandoned haunted mine shop where a poor miner has lost his life. And his wife Mary has been searching for him for years until she also got lost. Say, is this Mary right here? I know there's a... Oh, jeez. Jeez. That's a clue if I heard it. Huh. Do I... Okay, okay, there's a, there's, a, there's a key in here. That plunger. Looks like a dynamite. bits of theming here. This uh, owl here, the steampunk owl smoking a pipe. I do love this mad scientist here. Look at his eyes. His eyes bulging out of his goggles. This rope land made by Shield. They make safety and recreational nets. Got hammocks here. And then like a big, uh, a big uh, network here that you can crawl up inside of. I, I've I, uh, I think I climbed up inside of one of these at Otherworld. Oh, look at the big caterpillar there you can swing around on. Here we have Grave Digger, a VR monster truck experience. They're all wearing their VR goggles inside that monster truck. Oh, there we go. How, how insane does it get? Oh, whoa, look at that, there it goes. Did a, uh, did a complete 360. Every year we come out to uh, Gilderfluk and Company Robotics and Sound System and every year we get a chance to see Eli, Eli the singing mule here. There he is shredding, shredding on his guitar. He's got a big company mascot here. He's wearing all the different IAPA badges from over the years. There's a big line here to get into the Vortex Dream Tunnel. Alright, heading into the Dream Tunnel here. Alright, so this would be a tunnel used in a water park. I guess we're going to give a little demonstration here. Yeah, 
uh, L3DF X here. We'll head into the room here. Oh, look at this dragon. Amazing uh, dragon head fireplace there. O'Neill FX, some of these really cool masks here, these silicone masks, hyper realistic. Oh, look at the puppy there. Got a couple of Santas, a witch. All right. And, uh, oh yeah, look at the super carnivorous clown. So it's pretty much like the evil doll there. The devil himself. Oh, there's Conan. We've got over 80 now. Yeah, look how uh, realistic some of these are. Are there any particular wow. match you guys might be looking for? So these are the display heads. Yeah, look at this guy. Got a strong chin there. We have BobProducts.com here. We've got the animatronic parrot there. And a little animatronic mermaid. Let's look at ourselves in the mirror. Wagoner, Wagoner Finn. Look at this little mushroom guy. He's super cute. Massive in here. Fire breathing dragon. I guess this dragon here was made in this giant 3D printer. Yeah, if you peek in the window there, so they're currently printing something. Not sure what that is. And there's a full size 3D printed Iron Throne from uh, Game of Thrones there. Because they put that sword there because they don't want you sitting on it. Uh oh, someone 3D printed this demon here. We have Excel Expressions here as the Axtel Intelligence. Apparently this robot here, this older gentleman has AI, artificial intelligence. You can actually speak to him. Hello, how are you? Hello, boys. I'm older than dirt, that's all. I did that. <laughs> older than dirt. How, uh, what's your name? My name is Howard. Howard. What's your name? Jacob. You know I don't really care. Right? You don't care. Well, that was that was pretty rude, actually. Are you are you enjoying yourself at IAPA? Well, that was a weird question. That was a weird question. I thought it was fairly standard, actually. <laughs> oh. Oh. And over here we actually have the chickens from Miss Frizzle's Chickens. It's a restaurant with animatronic chickens in Pigeon Forge. And here they are up close and personal. Oh, oh. See them uh, looking around here. Oh, look, one just popped up out of the eggs there. Oh, are they getting ready to, are they getting ready to belt out a tune? Pretty amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. They do renditions of songs. And they replace all the words with Brock, Brock, Brock. Oh, 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 oh. Intense VR right here. Oh, oh. It's on Dempo polyester here, a cute little snowman, and a cute little space Martian. Ice Creative Entertainment, some really cool costumes back here. Princess costume, and look at that beautiful light up jacket there. Unique Rabbit Studios here, always has some very impressive sculptures. There's that uh, amazing Freddie Mercury belting out a tune. Oh, look at this guy. I'm trying to see if I recognize him from somewhere. If you know who this guy is, leave a comment in the comment section. Oh, he does have lightning bolts in his eyes. Look who they got this year, these giant busts of both Tupac and Biggie. Ah, this year someone finally went to went to jail for what they did, uh, did to Tupac. Daniel Woodsland does amazing shooting galleries and dark rides. We have Treasure Hunt 
the ride. They built this out in uh, in California. I have not got a chance to go out there. Last time I was out there early this year, it was not built yet, but it's actually finished now. I gotta gotta make my way out there and uh, finally be able to ride this. See the Kraken tentacles all down there. Yes. Just check out this vicious ogre here. Some 3D printed people here. I don't know if these are uh, these are executives that work at Daniel Woods Land. Oh, there she moves. She moves. The shooting gallery called Hen Outhouse Hoedown. Got a, uh, a rifle here. They could just spray me with water. Oh yeah, that toad. Oh, the toad. The toad squirts. The toad squirts. Let's see. Oh, there's a fox under the, in the outhouse there. Oh! <laughs> Don't hit that frog! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, you shoot the frog and he squirts people. <laughs> this apparently doesn't squirt you though, for some reason. Oh, there, the chicken up there. Man, I'm getting so wet by this, this freaking frog. Wait! Suddenly it just turned into a disco. All right, we got another shooting gallery over here. This one is huge. It's like a uh, some sort of okay, it's like a speakeasy theme. All right, yeah, yeah I've seen the cement shoes there, kind of a kind of a prohibition gangster theme to it. Oh, you hitting the targets there? Guess I will. Uh, I will join in here. Take it. Take a few shots. Oh, there you go. Hit the cement shoes there. Sprayed me again. What what makes the water? Oh, what's back there? Oh, we just opened Al Capone's secret vault back here. Oh, there's a rat. You hit the high voltage. Oh, something sprayed me again. The vaults are up there. That's the high intensity, high intensity shooting gallery. I want to know. I want to know where that water. I keep getting blasted with water. See the, oh, there's a trash can back there. Got a cat in there. I see a stool pigeon over there on the stool. The Great Coasters booth here. Got some of the ride vehicles, the coaster cars. Full miniature uh, of, a, of a giant wooden roller coaster here. I don't know which coaster this is. If this is a Theoretical roller coaster or one that exists in reality. Yeah. This is Sandy Creek who built these mining flumes that we often see at tourist attractions. We put the dirt in there, put it down, wash the dirt away, and find the precious jewels that lie inside. Now this is a Six Flags Quidaya City. Now uh, I've never been to that one. That one is outside of the United States. This is a roller coaster called Colossus there, Just debuting, uh, announcing a new roller coaster. Find some precious jewels? Oh, yes. We went treasure hunt. Oh, look at that. These are so cool. <laughs> oh, the rose quartz? I got two pieces of rose quartz. Well, there's a guide that shows you what you're finding. Yeah, this what is you're a finding. super cool setup. We have National Fiber Technology. They make uh, the actual fabric, the hair, for uh, movies and theme parks here. See some of the different costumes, things they make here, some of the different wigs. Yeah, it looks like they actually made Chewbacca fur for the uh, Solo movie. What's he doing? Oh, he's raising his staff. Oh, there, staff lights up. This is Game Changer, the ultimate rotating gaming platform. Look at shooting gallery type games. Got uh, different guns and tools there. Oh, yeah, you can see it actually rotates. You have the shooting screens on the inside there. You would load right there and then they would rotate you through 
the different scenes there where you can do uh, like a shooting gallery on the screens. Poland water parks, you see a diagram there of a water park. Really cool design. See people there spiral down. They come out into this giant manta ray here. I guess kind of spin around and drop down into the drain there. My favorite booth that we stop at is Sally Dark Rides. We're gonna see some of the dark rides if I get a chance to uh, visit in the future. And look at this, we got Mr. Krabs here from SpongeBob. Come on, come on. try your hand at me very own carnival games. They're fun, they're easy. Everyone's a winner! Ah. Except for the losers. Everyone's a winner except for the losers. I've actually, I have heard about that. I knew they were bringing a SpongeBob ride to Circus Circus. Oh, I love Circus Circus. And uh, well, we will definitely go out to Las Vegas and uh, and check this out. Oh, oh this is really exciting. Really at me today. Just look at all these potential customers bringing in that sweet, sweet money. Here is the layout of a uh, Sesame Street ride. I, I don't think we have any of these in the United States, but it's really cool to see the layouts here. See the queue line, people board the vehicles, go through the different scenes here. Here's Grover. Down here you see Bert and Ernie. I'll go into this, this gallery here. A lot of the, the Sally Dark Rides are interactive. We are aiming at targets. And then I guess you disembark right there. Okay, here's some of the interactive items from uh, from Sally Dark Rides. It's like a pirate pirate gun there. I think this is kind of the standard blaster there. And uh, oh, this is the turkey call from uh, the uh, from Holiday World, where they have the Thanksgiving themed dark ride. Zamparilla here, who creates a ton of different amusement park rides. And I, here's a ride we can actually hop on here in a second. We got these uh, bouncing, bouncing cars, like a Dumbo-like ride here. Got a little bit of a bounce there. All right, let's find us a truck here. Get in here. Oh, here we go. Yes, so we are in a, in a flying truck in the sky here. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Got a little bouncy. Woo! <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. This is, this is even, <laughs> even bouncier than it looks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. It's fun though. Oh my gosh, my like badge is blowing away. Oh god. Woo. Oh jeez. A little bit of a POB. That is quite a bounce. I guess like, yeah, it's kind of like off-roading or mudding. It's supposed to be like your, your tires bounce you into the air. Whoa, my goodness. Wee hee hee. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh wow, round and round we go. And it just keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. All right. oh, there we go. Okay, okay. We're all, all gliding up in the air. Nice and gentle. And uh now it's time to go get food. Down, back down to planet Earth here. Also created by Zamparilla is this ride car here. You see the CP on the front is for Cedar Point. This is for Top Thrill 2, the new uh, high intensity roller coaster. It was used to be called Top Thrill Dragster. I guess the Zamparilla is helping them redo it and is now dubbed Top Thrill 2. And this is the uh, this is the roller coaster car shaped kind of like a drag a drag racer. Got adventure glass here. They make these amazing uh, swan boats. Let's have a dragon paddle boat over there. That's pretty cool. This Alinko costumes here. 
<laughs> See the dragon there, fuzzy dragon. And look at this dragon here, hey there. Oh, love the dragon suit, very cool. So other cool suits here, the frog, got the Santa lion. I love these spooky suits here, the mummy, the grim reaper. And apparently if your costume gets smelly, they offer professional cleaning services. We have Chance Rides here, where they've built the uh, Hot Wheels roller coaster. This is gonna be for the uh, Mattel Adventure Park. It's currently being built out in Arizona. Looking forward to uh, going out there when they do open. This is the C.P. Huntington train from the Sedgwick County Zoo. I'm not sure what state Sedgwick County is, but uh, nice looking little train there. There's a lot of plushies here. The theme parks need plushies for prizes and the games. And I've seen this before. The seagull with the french fry in his mouth. Is he stolen a french fry? Um, this, uh, this bird here has stolen, has stolen, I think, a bikini. Stole someone's bikini. This Rhode Island novelty. Again, the, the seagulls eating fries are one of the most popular plushies that you'll see. I also have uh, Bigfoot and uh, the Yeti. See, like Bigfoot, aka Sasquatch, there, and the Yeti. I've noticed, like, and I pay attention to kind of the cultural, the cultural, uh, the cultural expansion of cryptids. I've noticed, like, more and more so, you're seeing Yetis with horns. Like these bears over here have the different parks already printed on them. Cedar Point, Hershey Park, there's a Carowinds there. Oh, Worlds of Fun. Worlds of Fun is the only uh, Six Flags slash, uh, slash Cedar Fair Park I've never been to. Need to, need to change that. This Whitewater here makes water rides. Here is a flume vehicle. And it says this is going to be a, a flume boat for Six Flags Quadaya City. This is J&J, &J. they make go-karts. See the different designs here. All the different types of go-karts they manufacture. This Creative Visions here has this amazing ice throne. Alright, and rule upon my throne of ice here. Very chilling, very cool. There's CFX masks here. Look at this heart. Oh, I think that feel. I, I'd never held a human heart, but I imagine that's exactly what it feels like there. I also like this little, this little creature here. And look at that. It's uh, it's the Six Flags guy. Da 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 da. He's really excited that that he's now merged with uh, with uh, Cedar Fair. Look at all these bubbles here. There's actually fog bubbles here by Foggy's Frog. Oh my gosh. Big sprayed, sprayed here. Yeah, these, see the bubbles actually have fog in them. Try a little too, a little too fast to pop here. Let's see if we can find some slower bubbles to pop. There we go, there we go. Pop, you see the fog? Leaves the bubbles when you pop them. All right, so I got a fog gun here. I don't know if I'm responsible enough to handle this. So make sure you uh, pick up your your scents here for your haunted houses. Ooh, barbecue. Barbecue right next to the barnyard manure. I think, I'm trying to think, I think I've smelled that. I think I smelled that this haunt season. And then there's poop fart. <laughs> the, scent, the scent is called poop fart. <laughs> so you can actually sample these smells open these up and uh, and give them a whiff. Let's see what the let's see what the poop fart smells like. I mean not pleasant but like not like not unbearable like I'm not ready to vomit. 
Oh, this one, this one's called gag reflex. It smells like a gag reflex, or it invokes. It triggers your your your, your, your gag reflex. Kind of smells like cat pee. I feel like I got a tingling down my throat. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. And you can be my bodyguard, and I can be your long lost pal. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I can call you Betty, and Betty, when you call me, you can call me Allosaurus. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's looking at me. He doesn't like my song. Ah, there he goes. This is Billing Productions. Made the uh, Allosaurus here. Looks like there's some models of what else they can make. Giant bugs, or the super cool uh, prehistoric fish here. We have costume specialists here, some more of these characters. I love this uh, rabbit here, who for some inexplicable reason is wearing Frankenstein underwear. There's Philadelphia toboggan coasters. Got the comet from Hershey Park here. There is Philomana, maker of carousels here. A little tiny carousel, some little tiny horses. Skyline attractions here. And I do love the little models, the roller coaster models. This one's really cool. It's got, like kind of loops through a, a very natural environment. Here's the Paschetti Bowl children's coaster. I do, I do like that name. This is uh, Price Chopper. They make wristbands here for amusement parks. I've worn many wristbands in my day. Oh, they also make these uh, these passes, these season passes. These are my least favorite type of wristband because you need a you need a pair of scissors to cut these off. They're very secure. Refuge here. Some uh, animatronic dinos. Hey there! Hey, oh, very cute little baby. Little baby Velociraptor there. Dinoticus. Dinoticus, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so that's the Velociraptor back there. Most people don't know. That's uh, Dinoticus. Hi, little Dinoticus. How are you? Oh, he's friendly. <laughs> Flush Toy Factory here. We got the Bugs Bunny suit. Oh, there he goes. Moving. <laughs> oh, okay. So his mustache can come off. Oh, there you go. You know, they're clean shaven. Or with mustache. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, his mustache fell off again. Mustache. There you go. Okay. Very cool. Whisper one. Who's whispering to him? Whisper to uh, his master. <laughs> <laughs> he animates, you know. When you wear it, you can animate the dragon. Okay, so the dragon, okay, so the dragon's like a, yeah. like a puppet. You, you put in your hands. Yeah. To the, Make, then animate like this. Very cool. And then he now whispers. Communicate. Yeah. And then repeat. Oh. No. Awesome. He said that you're a nice guy. Then you can, you can have a picture. Awesome. <laughs> all right, got the condiment cow here. You have all the different condiments there. You can just squeeze out of the udders. Of the condiment cow, and if you don't like the condiment cow, you can go with the condiment sow. And it's a little bit of ranch, some ketchup, some barbecue. Condiment sow. Oh, okay. It's all hiding inside there. The majestic trains here. A little majestic express. There's Looney Times, custom mascots. I love this uh, this octopus here. Look at all the different 
items he has. The basketball there, the paintbrush, the microphone. Very fun. Check out this character right here. Oh, look at this. It's the International Mascot Company over here. Hey, kitty, how are you? Aw, very, very cute. Fat little kitty here. Oh, look at Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Move like a cat there. Oh, wow. <laughs> jack o' lantern journey. It's these beautiful jack o' lantern sculptures. A flower with a hummingbird drinking nectar. And look at this. We have a jack o' lantern asaurus here. A, a pumpkin based dinosaur. And then a little baby uh, jack o' lantern asaurus hatching out of a pumpkin. Check out their smiley mascot here. All right, let's peek in here. Some of the illuminated jack o' lanterns. And look at this creature in the back here. Some sort of octopus elephant monstrosity. Oh, yeah, also got the Frankenstein and the Bride, Wednesday, and uh, Jack Torrance. We're at the Intamin booth here. Intamin, a major roller coaster manufacturer. And this is Falcon's Flight. It says this is coming to Six Flags, Quidia. And I, I, I understand, I've seen it several rides coming to this Six Flags. I guess it is a Six Flags opening in uh, in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, seeing some of the rides that will be upcoming as we are opening uh, opening next year. The Bertazon booth here. They manufacture ride vehicles. See the very patriotic bumper car there. I like this here. A dark ride style vehicle. Sea Tiger Attractions Incorporated. Love the pirate animatronic there. I see you are interested in us. Why don't you sit down and have a drink with me, my sailor? Inviting us to sit down and have a drink with him. Welcome aboard the Sea Tiger. I am your Captain Frank. The Sanhe robot here. I love seeing all the different uh, varieties of animatronic dinosaurs. See that uh, Dilophosaurus there. There's a little dinosaur that you can ride around, the Ankylosaurus. You can get on his back and, and ride him. There's the American coaster enthusiasts. We often see uh, the plaques in the different parks where they preserve roller coasters. So it's the largest roller coaster enthusiast group. And they also do preservation work, giving out some, uh, actually, some souvenir coaster coasters. Roller coaster drink coasters. Oh, fantastic. So the coaster there with a couple of teddy bears riding, going for a ride. Remember? during the pandemic when they would uh, put teddy bears on roller coasters to show footage of them enjoying it. Here we have a booth for the National Roller Coaster Museum coming to Plainview, Texas. Not uh, not open yet, but I'm, I'm really excited to uh, come visit it once it finally opens up. Yeah, you can see some of the preserved coasters they have here. The Matterhorn bobsleds right there and some other classic roller coasters. Larson's booth here and here's one of the roller coasters I'm probably the most excited about this is so you go into Silver Dollar City this is the new fire in the hole of course very sad they closed down the classic fire in the hole dark ride at uh, Silver Dollar City but apparently it's gonna be completely reimagined as a uh, as a modern new experience so as much as I'm gonna miss the old one I will uh, definitely make it out there to check out the new Fire in the Hole, supposedly coming uh, in 2024. Looking at this newspaper here, it says, uh, you can look see from the picture, it looks like a lot of the same familiar scenes, the burning bridge, there's a guy crawling out of a window there. Looks like they're gonna keep a lot of the same theming. So yeah, very curious on what this is gonna be like. S&S, which is another ride company, is gonna be doing an unveiling here in just a few minutes. There's something something under that tarp there all these people are gathering they want to see what is under that tarp
a closer look here at this Transformers roller coaster. You can see the seats there. <laughs> and actually, that's the bottom there. So it actually, as it's like speeding along, this middle part spins in like a 360, if that makes sense. It's the first axis coaster. You can see a little better from this angle. But yeah, you sit in the seat while the coaster's coasting. Spin 360 to the side. Crazy. The B&M booth, another roller coaster manufacturer. This is a uh, Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger here at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. I saw that. I saw that uh, in operation when I was uh, over there this summer. Here's the new roller coaster coming to Sea World in Orlando. Love going to Sea World. They uh, they allow you to use a GoPro to safely film on the roller coasters. So. Looking forward to being able to hop on this one here. This is the Penguin Trek. The Rides For You booth. This is Electric Dance Party. Very spinny, twirly style ride. I think they're just, you see the record, that's like the record uh, connector there. On the old record players, that's what the connector looked like. It's kind of a record-like spin going on here, I guess kind of spinning on a big record, theoretically. All right, let's pick out our seat here. Let's go for this pink one here in the back. And it is time for the electric dance party to commence. Woo -hoo. So this isn't too insano. Got kind of a nice, gentle ride here. Uh, it's actually really relaxing. It's kind of like almost lulling me into a sense of relaxation. Twirling relaxation. It's very zen. Very zen ride here. Give you guys a POV. It actually just feels like it just started picking up a little bit. Getting a little more, uh, a little more kick to it. Yeah, getting a little more velocity there on those turns. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now the uh, kind of lulls you into a full sense of serenity and then starts blending your brain. All right, let's check out the twist and shout over here. Let's go ahead and get in the very, very back here. I actually don't know if I'm in the front of the roller coaster or the back. We're about to, I guess we're about to find out. But it's the front or the back. Oh, we're in the back. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, see the whole floor from up here. Oh! Twirling nightmare. All right, going backwards now. Oh! That's one that like twirls like this while it's coasting like this. We're going, going down the spiral here. Woo! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think we're done, I think we're sliding. Sliding back into into place. A little bit of spookiness over here. We have uh, poison props. Let's see. The spider. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's fun. All right. We got a casket here. Who do you think is coming out of the out of the casket? Oh, it's a crazy zombie. All right. Who's this? Why is she on the wall like that? Let's hit the button. And, uh... Ah! Oh, my goodness. Well, we got a clown. Clown in here. Is he going to bash his head? There we go. Yeah. Bash his head against the 
Definitely we got this gentleman hanging right here. Who are these two here? These two terrifying zombies. Wow. Oh, here they come. Some reindeer here. Let's see if we can make them sing. Oh, there they go. Singing. Deck the halls here. Got some penguins here as well. There we go. Now I've seen the penguins and the reindeer before. I think this owl may be a new addition. Oh, did he just go to sleep? Wake up, owl. Wake up, owl. Oh, there he goes. Now all the things Christmas carols. Mon dial here. That's a replica of a ride that I would probably never ride. The avalanche there. Those are all little people there being twisted around. Of course, it wouldn't be an IAPA if we didn't stop by to say hello to Zoltar, Pappy, and his friends here at Characters Unlimited. How are you doing there? Santa waving there. Space alien there. Yeah, look at the little chimpanzee. Yeah, vulture. Hey, little buddy. Bald eagle. Hi, buddy. How you doing? What's your name? Huh? Yeah, come on over here. Talk to old Pappy. Give me, a, <laughs> give me a high five. Hey, give me a five. Give me five. <laughs> Takes orders from right. Pappy. Can you shake my hand? Shake my hand. Oh, you got a good, good, good handshake. All right. You sound seem like a nice guy. Thanks for stopping by. You had a good night there, cowboy. Yeah, we got these heads here. The moose, the cow, the bear, the pig, pig back there. Oh, I love the jackalope. Always love the jackalope. Little, little raccoon. Pumpkin. Oh. Oh, look at this. Got a little, little baby, little baby Pappy, Pappy here. Go ahead. Squeeze that. Strength tester. Oh, it's gonna land. In training. In training. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, got to say hello so, yeah, kind of to Zoltar himself here. Hello, Mr. Carpetbagger. Oh, Zoltar, you recognize me finally. Nice to see you, Carpetbagger guy. Nice to see you. You make be famous. I'm nothing without you, you know that. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, we're, we're, we're a team together, Zoltar. I appreciate all the publicity you could give us. Well, thank you so much. I, I always love featuring you in my videos. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, you're welcome. The gravity group here. It's really cool. The Bobcat. Love that ride vehicle. The big, big Wildcat on front of the car. Brogen booth here. Some really cool stuff. Let's look at this. It's like an entire pirate ship. I guess people board over here. And uh, I guess people all line up like a real ship. There's a screen wraps around and everything moves. That's that looks that looks impressive. The hot air balloon simulator. I enter through there with like the screen all around you. 
Now, it looks like this show is kind of shutting down for the day. People packing up their booths, but take one quick walk through the inflatable area. I see some of the inflatable items here, the big blow up bouncy castles here. It's a video game themed bounce house there. It's better to be bouncing than playing video games. Yeah, all the different bounce castles. Right, here's like an inflatable whack-a-mole game. Oh, there we go. Which they light up and hit them. But it's all, all inflatable, that's what, it's crazy. Uh-oh. They just turn the lights down and making an announcement. I think, I think I'm obligated to get out of here. Yeah, you can see Sasquatch over there deflating for the evening. Oh no, oh no. Sasquatch is <laughs> deflating because I have us over. It's not over, just today's over. And this is like my only day here, so sadly, uh, say goodbye to deflating Sasquatch there. Yeah, a lot of the inflatables are are deflating as we head out this side. Uh, actually, head out this side door. I parked in the parking lot way, way back behind the building. Yeah, kind of sad to see everything, everything deflating at the end of the day. All right, so I was there probably a good seven hours? So there's seven hours and I did not, could not even cover everything. I tried to get everything in there, tried to grab everything that I found fascinating or interesting, but wow, the time flies, a massive event. I think I've done, the last couple of years, I've done uh, done just one day at IAPA. I think, I think next year for 2024, I think I should probably, probably plan on uh, doing more than one day. I think we'll do at least two days at IAPA next year. Remind me, hold me to that, because I think to get the full experience, I think I do, may need to, may need to, uh, to, to, to slow down a little bit, take my time. Next year we'll do two, we'll do two days at IAPA, but thank you so much. I love coming to this event, love seeing all the new exciting stuff, love seeing the animatronics, the rides, every little, a little bit of the amusement park and attraction industry and yes yeah, so much so much more than i showed in this video it was just a matter of being able to fit in uh what i could so uh thank you so much thank you for coming along i'm always excited to get here always excited to see things and thank you for coming along with me and being excited as well also just wanted to say thank you to everyone who come up came up to me today um said they knew me for my videos shook my hand um it really blows me away that some people actually in the attractions industry in the amusement park industry actually will actually make these things that I show in my videos that they actually will watch my videos and keep track of what I'm doing I met the gentleman who uh, created the uh, cave train uh, ride out in the Santa Cruz boardwalk one of my favorite dark rides and then to find out that he actually watches my videos that's amazing um, so yeah I've been really blown away I guess the mutual respect there um, I, you know, I love these things that these people create, and um, yes, they appreciate me going out there and enjoying them, and 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 loving them, and sharing them with you guys. So, thank you to the amusement park and attractions industry for being so warm to me. I do, I do appreciate that. Uh, of course, if you do like these videos, please uh, consider subscribing. I'd really like to get to half a million, <laughs> half a million. Uh, subscribers before I die I just think that would be a, uh, a a cool thing a cool milestone to reach of course I travel around the country I film roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses other fun random stuff uh, if you'd like to help support the channel in other ways consider contributing to patreon three dollars or more we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you also uh, selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop doing personalized messages on cameo 
recording personalized birthdays, anniversaries, questions, just for fun. You can send them to yourself, send them to someone else. Uh, if you're interested in that, check the description of the video. Of course, those things help keep this roller coaster on the track, this bumper boat on the water, and this roller coaster high in the air. Did I use roller coaster twice there? I think I did, but that's okay. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.